I don't have an issue with cross gen. I think that's a wonderful thing. Uh, we're gonna take it back when Nintendo. Remember when they announced that Zelda was coming out also for the Nintendo Switch and Wii U? I was like, man, this is cool. So if you can, if you can um, afford to buy the new console, if you have the Wii U, you can still play Breath of the Wild, and everybody wins, right? Again, Microsoft also been doing the same exact thing. Uh, back in January of 2020 um, of this year, uh, Matt Booty from Xbox also was saying, hey, we're going to support cross-gen for at least at least two years or so, right? Great thing. Um, Phil Spencer said the same exact thing on our podcast. Uh, go listen to our 1,000 episode. He talked about it too. Again, everybody wins. If you think about it, the first year or so uh, when a new console comes out, the majority of people just wait until the console is cheaper, and that's when you get to see ne- now next gen after like a year or two from from different studios. So it's a good thing, right? Let's fast forward to now. Yesterday, Sony uh, just showed uh, the PlayStation Five showcase, where they announced a bunch of you know a bunch of games that's coming out for the system, and it was announced the the price and also the date of the system. Within seconds, right after the showcase, that's when Sony revealed that their games, some of their games, Spider-Man, uh, Horizon, and also Sackboy, is all coming out also for the PlayStation 4, which makes sense. That's fine with me. I don't have an issue with that. The issue that I have is why Sony kept on so quiet through, through the whole year, the whole summer, about that. The media actually interviewed Jim Ryan and asked him what he thinks about what what Xbox is doing and he said oh we believe in generations buy the PlayStation 5 to take it to the next level with all next gen right and everybody thinking okay all these games are still just going to be exclusive for PlayStation but it wasn't it wasn't at all at all that's the issue that I have is the communication why why Sony kept so quiet about that super quiet and then once they announced the price, pre-order went live. That's when the company announced that all these games is also coming out for the PlayStation 4. Look, again, everybody wins. Everybody wins. You can't afford to buy a PlayStation 5. You still could play these games, which is a good thing. But I just don't like the lion part because here, here let's keep it real. A lot of people were trashing Xbox for them making the announcement. And even there was even people that were not happy about Nintendo doing the same exact thing. When you go way back when uh, Breath of the Wild was coming out for the Wii U, it got pushed back. And that's when the game also was developed for the Nintendo Switch. People were not happy about that, right? At the end of the day, I'm excited that everybody's getting a console. I'm planning to get one sometime early next year when Ranch and Clank comes out. That's, that's, my, that's my goal, to get it around spring. But... It's good to speak out when a com- when a company is doing certain things that is not consumer friendly. Speak about that because then other companies are going to be doing the same exact thing, and it's not it, it, it's not fair. It's not fair that companies are going to be taking advantage of this. But I love when companies are being transparent, they're being upfront and honest to the consumers, and we should support more of that instead of supporting the lies that it's not good for our industry at all that's the only issue look i don't care who who sells what uh if if sony sells more than xbox or xbox sells more than sony i really don't care about that i want us the gamers to enjoy gaming we have a lot more options now gaming right now is going to be even better next gen because of the technology and everything that they're planning to do. And I just love that now during the pandemic, quarantine, gaming is the, is the medium that's been helping out the most out of every other industry. Gaming is the one that has been helping us while we're staying home and, and all this stuff, man, right? So we just need to push. We need to talk about and be vocal about this, man, so, so a company can stop doing this nonsense of keep everything secretive, lying to the consumers. That's not good. That's it. Just be honest. We'll move forward. Everybody wins. That's it. That's all I have to say.